What's up? Welcome to Yap. Hey. Mm. Oh, you better mute that thing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Got it. Got it. Hi, <laughs> Thomas. What's up? How are we doing today? How are we feeling? We feel we excited. We have Ollie on today. Let's say hey. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Ollie, welcome to the live. Welcome to the podcast. Thank God. I'm, thank God. I'm great. I'm great. Guys, I'm drinking matcha now. Can you see? Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. You can, I don't think they can see Is it office matcha or is it matcha you B Y O M? It's matcha that I brought. But Ooh. you're more than welcome to have some. I've actually never had Price matcha. But you want to try this one? Not really. No. What is it? Does it like? Is it like a? It, this one's quite sweet. It's not like bitter, like a. Um, no, but like, wh what else do you put with it? Is it like coffee or tea or? No, is, no, no, is it matcha just matcha and milk. That's the thing. Yeah. Oh, the more you know. You can have matcha with other things like strawberry matcha. I don't know, coffee matcha probably, probably exists. But interesting. Anyway, good morning, team. Good morning. What's up? What's up? What's up? Do you have a funny story, Ollie? Um, yeah, I got lots of funny stories. From like recent events, um, I uh, I moved yesterday, closer to the office. Uh -huh. But you know how it's like, there's that like thing where the shorter your travel distance, the later you become. Yeah, yeah, that's my funny story for today. Wow, was, wait, but you're not late. It's eight. I know, but Abdi like messaged me, Abdel messaged me <laughs> <laughs> at like seven forty five, being like, I hope you remembered you're on Yep this morning. <laughs> And I was oh. like, yeah. And were you already up? Or yeah, I was already up. Okay. And but then, like then I started stressing. And I was like, am I meant to be there like now? And I checked my calendar and it had me resource from 7.45. And I was like, oh, the panic set it. Oh, I had, yeah. Wow. I, I, I was like, I was like, I oh, I'm going to be late. But I wasn't. So Thank I guess God. I proved that saying wrong. Thank God. Oh, goodness. But you were close. Yeah. Yep. My other funny story is we were moving all of our stuff yesterday and I was like, thank goodness it's sunny and it's not raining and we moved all of our stuff in and then torrential downpour. And then torrential downpour last night when I had to move all of my bedding and stuff. So um, my jeans are still wet this morning. That was a mistake. These ones? These ones, yeah. They're a little bit damp. Oh, no. So, but, you know. Oh, poor Ollie. How about you, Jenny? What's your funny story? My funny story? I don't really have any. I do have a sty. I'm growing a sty. Can you see it? What's his name? Or her? Uh, I don't know. I kind of gravitated towards, like, Bill. That's nice. Does it look like Bill, Bill and Joni face the music, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Does it look like a Bill? Can you see it? I Do you notice it? Okay, if I open my eyes, you can. Oh, I can, I like can just notice it because like the the, the glare is putting is, yeah, like is right it, on your yeah. face there. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got a sty, and it it feels wonderful, wonderful. That's all. Infections of my body. Mm mm mm. All right, let's get into it. Okay. Okay. First article. Airbnb. Have you seen this? Uh yeah. Like on the app? No. On the app? Okay. So Airbnb essentially um, is now hosting experiences and just crazy. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. crazy shit. Um, I've seen it for the past, like probably this this whole year, I've seen these little experience things. Are they just giving you overseas ones on the app or do they have like ones in your region as well? Um, I remember, well, ages ago, they used to do... Um, places to see if you were to get an Airbnb in your region. Oh, but okay. this is now like full on experience. Oh, okay. Like yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. make core memories with inside out too. Oh, okay. They're like targeting that, like not my tax bracket. That is crazy. What you'll do, I might, but you go to the, the, the fucking inside out HQ. Oh, so it's like no longer a, a just accommodation. It's like they, they take care of your entire holiday. <laughs> yeah, they stay in Princess Purple Rain House. It's like that um that failed Disney um Star Wars hotel where it was like you went and you stayed and you stayed inside this like basically an enclosed hotel mm. and it was all Star Wars themed and you couldn't leave throughout the week. You like stayed in this hotel and everything was like themed to the hotel. Mm. 
like you did events in the hotel, you watched like actors and stuff perform as the characters and you had always ate like in theme food. But like to stay, it was like, I don't know, like exuberant numbers. I want to throw out like 15, 20 grand, but like. I also feel like there's, there's an element of winning, I think. Oh uh, yeah. Cause yeah. like not everyone can have a living room session with Doja Cat. Like yeah. that's just not it. Because I think there was a part in the, the article that says you have to like apply and say why your Yeah like yeah. what your connection is with the icon. Yeah, you get a golden ticket or something. Or something. Yeah. Four thousand lucky Airbnb app users will find golden tickets. Oh my goodness. Dude, they have the house from up. Yeah, the house That's from awesome. up. That is crazy. Train at the X Mansion. Yeah, that's more my language. Design your incredible suit. That is fun. That is so fun. Game with Kabi Lame. Ooh. Do you think Airbnb's struggling? What's their what's their stock price at the moment? Has it been going no, up or down we, recently? We talked about Airbnb maybe uh, last week. Yeah. And we think they're just g- always going to be good. Because I thought all the online discourse around Airbnb was that it was like rubbish and that everyone hates it. Really? Yeah, because no one likes the idea that like you go, right? You stay, you have a great time and then you get charged a cleaning fee and then and then you have to deal with like property managers and people that are like, oh, the key's like here and then you spend like 40 minutes trying to find where the key's hidden. I just like haven't seen that someone just sounds talk positively like little online. little small... Well, it's funny because, like, you just make problems to fill anything. Yeah. For anything. Like, in reality, those problems actually aren't that crazy. Like, oh, I can't find the, like, the key is. I mean, like, Airbnb driving up the house prices in certain regions is probably more than just a little problem. That's a bit. I mean, (laughs) that wasn't in your list. Sorry, that's beyond the scope (laughs) of the (laughs) podcast. My apologies. That wasn't in your list. But, um. Sorry. I didn't get sent a list, so. I guess. But it is useful. Yeah. Like what they came up with was yeah. right. It's just oh, yeah, the evolution 100%. of it now. You're like mad that it's not not you, but people just mad that it's I'm a just, big giant now. I'm just mad it's not for me. Yeah. <laughs> Girl hates to see a <laughs> company winning. But it's cool. Um, what can we learn from Airbnb doing this? Um, There's ways to evolve your product, yeah. first of all. Yeah. That's crazy. People will always give you more money if you do more <laughs> things for them effectively. And I like how Sophie wrote something about like collaborations. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. if you literally just recycle people's clout and it doesn't, okay, you're not going to get Doja Cat. Like uh, you're, yeah, not, you're, probably you're not, not going to get Calby Lame. The but there's like micro influencers. Yeah. Because even let's say yourself, if you had posted something that you said you really enjoyed about. I don't know, videography or whatever. Yeah. In your on your Instagram. Yeah. You would have queries about it. Oh yeah. 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 Because my it's still valuable, micro influencer yeah. um audiences. Mm. Because you guys actually have a direct connection to most of your followers, your audience, which is Yeah. Good. And I feel like if anything, they'd be like more genuine slash like excited about working with you rather than like a an influencer who's been there done that. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is there also a point in like finding whatever you can like get brand deals with? It might not be Inside Out or Disney, but it might be something more local. Yeah, like brand partnerships yeah. of some sort. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, that also plays into you could do cultural moments without teaming up with Inside Out. Like you can yeah. just make an experience around Inside Out. You can make content about Inside Out or whatever. Um, that's interesting. Have have you seen the trailer for Inside Out? Um, I have seen the trailer. Um, oh, my partner actually went to the movie and I saw her letterbox review. Was it good? She gave it, I think like three stars, which was. Was that high for her? It's. (laughs) Is that okay? That's like, I think, let me actually double check because I, I know she's watching this morning and I don't want to get roasted (laughs) for getting it wrong. Um, bear with me real quick. Yeah. Three stars. Um, out yeah, of five, out of five, which is, is not bad. That's like a, you know, fairly comparable. Um, 
I I remember watching the first one and enjoying it, and then. Yeah. But I, I mean, second ones aren't time. always that good. Except for Shrek Two. Agreed. I watched um Despicable Me Four. I uh, that how was it? Uh uh, Despicable Me. So, I'm going to watch it this weekend. Yeah. Too much Minion content. It was so bad. Like, it just was not, just not worth it. Sorry, I'm done. watch it. Bro. Do you know what's, cr- what? I was taking my brother going. this week to watch it. I mean, if he enjoys that stuff, great. Yeah, but is, you, is, is your brother a kid? <laughs> like, yeah, I was, like, like, yeah I was so yeah. excited. I was I was so excited. What's crazier, though, is that... um. So it was the premiere, and on the premiere screen, it's like um, review embargo until 20th of June. Oh. Do you know what that means? That means you shouldn't you be can't. speaking about it yeah. online. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I I think it's because it was, it, they probably knew how bad it was. You that they had to yeah, put yeah, a review. No, they always do that. But no, not that, for something like no, Despicable Me. They don't always do that. For like big and important films. Sorry, just for me. <laughs> like for, for like every Marvel film, they'll always be like, don't talk about the film. I mean, okay, yeah, I get that. But like... <laughs> <laughs> but like, what are you going to spoil that like Bob dies or something? <laughs> Kevin and Bob. Like, like anyway, does it Crash into the World Trade Center. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Off the live. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zillow. Zillow, ooh. Zillow's Gone Wild, How One Guy's Hobby Became an HGTV Show. This is fun. This is something that we kind of want to happen to us. Um, Well, not really, because we would just want to be the HGTV. But it would be really cool to produce content around something and then someone picks it up at a bigger scale like HGTV. Yeah. So this is really cool so essentially this guy started posting up random zillow houses like the wildest zillow houses and now he's got a damn show like hosting like touring them or like just yeah i think just showing like this is the i mean any home tour you watch yeah i love home tours oh i'm big on the youtube like this is the most expensive home in like billionaires rowing (laughs) like just sitting there like (laughs) This is fun. It's yeah. great for like the first 10 minutes and then you're like, that's kind of sucks. Like my life sucks. <laughs> yeah. So like, yeah, and um, the house. You're like, who, who, who needs that? Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. No, um, but I wonder what concepts we could, like you could create to then have it so big like that. I mean, it reminds me of um, Casey when he made, oh, what was he making and what did it become into? I don't even remember. I don't. I don't even remember. Casey this Neistat. Yeah, yeah. He was filming stuff, and then he got picked up by um, a media company. I just forget. Oh, oh the don't even know. Sorry. The app. No. Yeah, maybe. Oh Wait. no, 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 no. That was after. Not Beam, that, right? No, 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 no. That was after. Oh. That was after. Yeah. yeah. But um, it's really cool. There is opportunity for people to make cool stuff and then get picked up, but. What kind of things do you think you'd have to do to be picked up by something like this? Uh, something really cool. How do you how do you even get picked up by like a traditional? Well, I don't I don't really know HGTV very well. well I don't like, think they're in New Zealand. It wouldn't right. be like just cool. It would kind of be something that obviously has like an infinite yeah. pool of content yeah. behind yeah. it, right? Yeah. Like not every like influencers. Yeah, we make great content or like. They make it great content, but you can't just they can't just get picked up by TV because it's not no really cool and or and like turn infinite and turnable into like a forty minute yeah scheduled segment that has to go out yeah not everyone can be a Kardashian no way no like it's just not how it works yeah I think that could be fun though I think there's like surely one day like our office becomes like a tv show the office oh yeah yeah like a reality kind of thing or kind of but not really like is there enough interesting things going on in a day to become a reality show like i mean you could fabricate stuff all the time well like it it doesn't have to be a reality show it could be just like a mockumentary of our office well i love mockumentaries 
because it because it's funny. Yeah. Like there's so many tropes. Abdel, the intern turned full timer, who still gets considered the intern. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's definitely like other ideas we could also explore, like you know, just like other ideas. Uh, are you gonna say anything? Are you gonna add to it, or just <laughs> there are other, there are other things. Just the other things. Off in the other things. Ellipsis. All right, leverage Whoa. your skill set and engage with your audience. Um, I don't know who's who's who Dixon is asking, but he asks, "Have you recovered <laughs> to massive diarrhea from yesterday?" Who? Did either of you have massive diarrhea yesterday? Uh, mm. I didn't have massive diarrhea yesterday. No, but fascinating question. But I did have um I did have a really sore stomach. I think I had food poisoning from the sushi that I ate um before the movie. Mm. Yeah. I stomach I felt like puking and I hate puking, so I was like, Don't Tell don't do it. it. Oh. I'm going to sleep and forget about it. And so I just forced myself to sleep. So that I wouldn't do I, I hate throwing up so yeah, much, exactly. man. That's the worst feeling. It's the best feeling <laughs> afterwards. No, it's not. Because not like maybe when like you're doing it for like a tag yak. But I mean like if it's like a like if you're like a sick vomit yeah. and you know that you're gonna be doing it again in like two to three okay. hours, there's nothing redeemable about that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Tag yak, great. Easy, efficient, <laughs> get back on the horse. Sick vomit? No. Nah. Nah, that's nah. It ain't I'm it. not getting paid for it's the next two days. Not <laughs> that's it. The kind of vibe. it is not it. Okay, what else is in here? Nothing really. We wrapped up pretty fast. Sorry, I don't have much to add. I'm not. What's the trend? That. What's our trend? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mr. Let's see. Trend Plug. Let's see, let's see. Naming your child after something you love. Okay, what would you name your child? <laughs> um um Oh, I know what I'll name my child. I've got one, Thank Ollie. Goodness. Yep. Opening the microwave when it hits 0 seconds. So on the dot. That's good. Well, so that's it good. doesn't beep or it doesn't go <laughs> into like the cooling <laughs> the cooling rotation. <laughs> yes, that is what I would name my child. Go on your turn. Good morning, opening the microwave exactly as it hits zero seconds. seconds. Um, I would name my kid, um, man, do I just not love anything in life? Maybe, maybe you don't. <laughs> Damn. I'm not is, surprised. There's also a new trend. Sorry, I'm going to break your trend up there. Um, yeah. I saw, I only just saw it last night and it's people going back into vines and they're like AI oh. entering the vine and like changing the outcome of the video. So Yo. the kid will be like, what's nine plus 10? And just before he says 21, the camera like pans and then like someone walks into the frame Bro, and like stops the so kid. Good. It's freaky as, That's I don't know how cool. they're making them, but like, um, I reckon it's going to make like major, yes. um, like what's the word? Uh, Mandela effect yeah, yeah, within yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. two years because like now I'm going yeah. like, Whoa, that Yay. feels so wrong. They already did it the Four Seasons Orlando yeah. baby. It's like, who wants to go to the Four Seasons Orlando? And the baby just doesn't put up its hand and it just yeah. like turns to the dad and it's like freaky ass. Yeah, yeah. they also did it with the D's Nuts guy. <laughs> Bro. Oh man, that's crazy. That's Maybe cool. I'd name my kid D's Nuts. This, yeah. Is this a t TikTok or what is this? I was on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Good morning, D's Nuts. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. That's so good. Just one account or just like you're uh, getting a feed no of idea. them? Or no, it's, it's, it's a feed. I think I've seen a couple of accounts do it. But bro, it's so freaky because like you're watching it, expecting it like it's going to happen. And then you see like it's got like 3 million likes and you're like, okay, I got to watch it. So something different is happening. And then the, the the fact that the camera just pans over is just like it fucks with your brain so much that, that it's just like, well, let's watch that. It's always pending over to a guy walking. <laughs> right, you're expected to, to go, do I look yeah, like your no, dad? But then it just doesn't. And you're like, oh. That's creepy. Yeah. Oh, man. How many Taz people in New York? And when are you leaving? Um, There's no Taz people in New York. It'll be Stan, Claire, and I. And when am I leaving? I'm leaving in two weeks. 
Are you doing? Oh, you don't know. It's a Laura, it's a Laura question. What? Go on. Say you doing? Yeah, from. Oh, it's, it's that is t- definitely a Laura question. This it's gonna be here. Yeah. They're not taking you up with them. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, well, you're not taking your producer with you. So what no, would I you know. do? <laughs> I know what would I do? If only the. Oh. You, you know, I ran a, we ran a podcast every morning, like, in New York without you, so. Where's that now? <laughs> <laughs> it became, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, gosh. Hello from Great British. Great right, Britain. The, gr- uh, the Great the British. British. <laughs> hello from the Great British, says Abdi. <gasps> Also, oh let's address let's address oh, Abdi. Yeah, so no, no, let's, no, let's, no, let's, let's address it. Abdi. If we don't address it. Oh my gosh, let's address, it. Bolo, let's address Bolo, it. Bolo, Bolo, hear this. Okay, listen to this. Okay, listen to this. Listen right. to this. Listen so, to this. So over the last, do you want to go? I, whatever. Okay, whatever you want. Okay. Go. So basically, over the last two, two, three months, um, people slowly but steadily have been calling me Abdi. It started with his Ollie. name's Abdel, right? Abdel. So like a cute little nickname, Abdi. Yeah, like, I was kind of like around the office. Like, oh, Abdi, what's up? Like, yeah, it's so cute. Yeah. Anyway, carry on. And for the longest, I didn't correct them. But in Arabic, it translates to literally my slave. <laughs> and I just let them run with it for so long. And they found out last week. And they still call me Abdi. So I don't know what's going on. We don't, we don't say it because we're trying to yell out like, my slave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Wow, you really saved it there, Johnny. Like, that's not what we're trying to do. Like, it's still our cute little pet name for you. <laughs> we just love you, Abdi. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> uh, this is this one? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, Abdi in the building, guys. Abdi in the building. Abdi. <laughs> that, okay, when I read it in my brain... So, like, typically when things happen or um, people say things, I spell it in my brain and I can see it in, in letters. When I read it in my brain, it's A, B, and then one capital D. Yeah, same. Oh, fair, fair, fair. Okay, okay. Like, okay. that's how save, I... S- save, save. No, uh, no, seriously, that's always yeah. how I saw it. Okay. Ab, D. D. Yeah. yeah, like the D stands for Dow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, it's crazy. I'm so sorry. No, you're good. You're good. Keep it coming. But like, but like, I'm not gonna stop. Come on. Yeah. Like, I, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure it's not Abdi. It's like Abdi or something. <laughs> <laughs> Should we play the Google Translate yeah. <laughs> over and over? Abdi. I was, Abdi. Abdi. <laughs> I was speaking about crazy translations. I was singing that like that song that was popular on TikTok, the Chinese, like the Shu Yeah. <laughs> and like Caitlin in the office is like. Like, if I wasn't looking at you, I would swear that you're Asian. <laughs> <laughs> it's like John Cena saying he likes ice cream. He's like, bing chili. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, didn't, didn't Elaine make you sing that on Friday? Yeah, Elaine was, <laughs> like, Elaine was like, sing it, Ollie, sing it. I need to hear it. I need to Go hear sing it, it Ollie. No, nah, I'm not going to sing Go. it. Go. No, no, you Go put me on the spot. Do it. Because you were so hesitant. <laughs> we're going live, Ollie, in three, two, one. <laughs> I can't do it because I'm not. We're uh, waiting, Ollie. No, no, we'll move on. I'll you do need it, to I'll get through later. at least two bars. Oh, my goodness. Go, go. <laughs> I can't do it when... Abdi! Oh, yeah, yeah. cool, he's, cool. he's just laughing at me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get cancelled on my first day. <laughs> no, you're not. Oh, yeah, you did podcast. great. I'm so proud of you. That's amazing. Good bing morning. Bing chilling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't say anything else. This is so big chilling. <laughs> He's talking about like He's the like, Fast and Furious movie and how he likes ice cream. Like that's what... Does he talk about the cars? I don't know. He yeah. just says like, I love ice cream, something, something, something. Yeah. I don't really yeah. remember. I love ice cream. Like I love Fast and Furious. Like, yeah. Yeah. John Cena's the goat, man. All right. Um, yeah, if we have nothing else, we can just send it here. Ollie singing Chinese songs was not on my bingo card this morning. Yeah, honestly, it was not on any of our bingo cards when he when we heard him <laughs> start <laughs> singing it. It was crazy. I thought Caitlin played a video <laughs> on Friday. I thought, I thought she played a video of somebody singing it, and I didn't know Ollie was singing it the whole time. 
And then when it came to Elaine trying to convince him, I was like fucking dying. Because he like, you were so hesitant to sing it for the yeah. longest. Yeah. And then you just gave in and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love peer pressure. Yeah. Show Abdi. Show us Abdi. Follow me. And he can come into Don't my camera it. if he wants. Follow me on TikTok. You can't Let's see say. Abdi because yeah. he's a slick. Abdi is a concept. Whoa! <laughs> on that note, get <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no! Um, but Airbnb, am I right? Yeah. Um, Zillow, right? <laughs> my craziest thing about Airbnb is that I was told that the house next to us was this lovely old lady that was living in it and had been living there for years. And then when we were moving in yesterday, there was another young couple moving into the place. And I was like, oh my goodness. This is awesome. And I was like, have you guys just been away on a trip or like are you mm. moving in? And the guy looks at me dead ass in the eyes and goes, oh, like I'm from Australia. This is a Airbnb place. <laughs> I was like, oh. Uh. Uh. He was like, I thought you were our landlord. And I was like, look at me. <laughs> I could own this house. <laughs> <laughs> you would me? have done your eyebrow. like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, well. Yeah. Abdi's been in the gym. Yeah. My Every body, day, do you you been going on the weekends? I didn't go yesterday because I just had to rest. I had to rest. I had to rest. Also, oh, what do you bench? I looked it up. Twenty kgs with the bar. So, so like, forty kgs. Yeah. Pop off, King. Come on, come on. Come on. That's pretty yeah. good. What can I do? But I, I can barely do, do that. it for like two reps. I can't. I haven't been to the gym in like two years, so I can't remember. Should come join us. At my peak. At my peak. I I did sixty. That's it for one rep. You're like a freak athlete. Like I didn't like when you were just doing push ups and stuff on Friday or <laughs> Thursday. I was like, well, where did this come from? <laughs> she just dropped and started doing like fucking six, seven push ups consecutively, and I can't do half of one to save my life. I was like, okay, where? Because I have to be fit just in case someone on the off chance chooses to fight me. Facts. Fair. Or like, okay, not even that. Uh, most importantly, what if we're in like a burning building and I have to carry someone out because they're not able, like they get crushed or something. I have to lift a rock over them. I yeah. have to do anything, like anything in danger. What happens if I'm falling off a cliff and I have to hoist And you have to up? catch yourself at the bottom <laughs> and do a push up <laughs> like that. As you no, but bottom. I have to strength <laughs> upwards like this. It's, it's like everything. Strength. Okay, but a Sorry, apart from the, apart from yeah, yeah. the Emergency. Um, push-ups, like anything. That's right. You're right. If Joni ever gets in a fight, she'll just drop to the ground and start <laughs> doing push-ups. <laughs> and, <let's laughs> and they'll go, whoa, I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> it's probably not for any fight or anything. It's definitely for danger. Yeah. Dangerous it's so you can natural causes. Do that fireman roll. And, yeah, that fire. I Alistair still around. need to get there. I'm yeah. still finding that very difficult. Anyway, it's 8.30. Thank you so much. All right. Ciao for now. Bye.